Hey, it's Dr. Maroney, principal at Persephone High School. Um, in the perfect world, you'd all be sitting in the auditorium, uh, anxious to tour the building and see all of our teachers and students in action. Unfortunately, that's not the case. So we put together a bunch of information to help you make a smart decision for your electives um, as, as a freshman. Um, we're excited to have you there next year, uh, and um, we want you to have the best classes possible. So. There's a couple packets with some uh, summaries of the courses. There's some questions and answers that often come up about different uh, levels and changing classes, things like that. And then there's this dynamic 30 minute video. So give it a look. Uh, you can fast forward to the uh, places you want. You're gonna hear from art, business, foods, industrial arts, music, English, social studies, science, math, and a little something about uh, freshman seminars. So um, as always, if you have any questions afterwards, don't be afraid to reach out to your counselor or you could even shoot me, me an email um, and uh, we'll help you out. So enjoy the show and uh, hopefully we'll see you in the fall. We're looking forward to it. Thanks. Hello and welcome to Parsippany High School. My name is Mr. Lazari and I am the industrial arts teacher here. All the classes I'm about to talk about fall under industrial arts. And if you sign up for this class, one of these classes, you will have me as your instructor. First class I'm gonna talk about is wood shop. This is the wood shop at Parsippany High School. This is my office, this is my classroom, all right? This is where you will be for most of the classes you take in industrial arts. And uh, in wood shop, you will use all of these tools. I have a table saw here, a joiner over there, chop saw over there, pocket jig, and I've got a drum sander, that's just a few. All right, the way this class works is we start with a hand tool project. You guys will learn all about hand tools, how to use them. You'll make a piece of, you'll augment a block of wood. Then we'll move on to our power tool project. You'll learn how to use all the power tools in here, and then you'll make a locker organizer. Then after that, you create and build what you want to build. You'll take measurements, you'll look at furniture, you'll come up with different ideas, and you are free to build within reason what you would like. All right. The next class we have after that, that's a great one, is home, home Repair Technology and Systems Maintenance. All right, and it is a home repair class. Everybody wants to own a home one day, this class prepares you for that. We cover how to spackle and patch holes in walls, basic electricity, do an outlet, do a dimmer, uh, basic plumbing, how to fix your sink, how to fix your toilet bowl, how to sweat a pipe. You have a pipe burst, that's a common thing as we head into the winter months, all right? Um, it's a, also a half year course. So it's a great course to pair with say maybe Stagecraft, another half year course we offer, which covers anything that happens to put on a show at Parsippany High School, aside from acting. We don't do acting. We do light, we do sound, we do set construction and set design. We um, cover how to break down a scene, look at it from all angles, decide what action has to happen and develop a set for the director and for the cast to operate in. It's another half year course, it's a great time, all right, it's a great skill, and it's a great way of looking at things differently. You'll never go to another movie or show, play, performance, and look at it the same way. Another great class we have that's a half year course is CAD. CAD is computer aided drafting. We use Onshape, Fusion 360, Autodesk, all right, these are all industry standard programs that architects, engineers in all walk of life use and they have to be proficient and to be good at their jobs this is a great way for you to get your feet wet if you think you want to be an engineer another half year course that we have is introduction to design and technology what it is is we talk about the design process we talk about how ideas germinate to full prototypes to products you buy every day on the shelves we do a unit of flight we talk about how planes are built how they are dynamic, how can we augment planes we build in class to fly further, we test it out. We also do a, a series where you guys design your own uh, product to help you in everyday life, and we print it out on our 3D printer. So that's another great class. And then the, finally, the, the last class we offer in the industrial arts, it's a familiar course and it's auto fundamentals. It is, without a doubt, I feel the best part course at Parsippany High School because we cover, everybody's going to own a car one day. We cover how you buy a car, how you get car insurance, how you look for a shop, a technician to take care of your car. It's like looking for a doctor. You want somebody you trust and somebody who knows what they're doing. We also talk about what to do if you're ever in a roadside incident. You have a blowout. 
You have a, a, a flat tire. How do we fix that? How do we change the tire? We also have a full operating lift. We also have a tire machine where we can mount and dismount tires. And we also have a balancer. So there are opportunities. We take care of things for faculty members and other students. So there's opportunities out there for you guys to um, work with your hands every day, doing oil changes on your car, your parents' car, or other teachers' and students' cars. All right, we help you out. We take care of all the labor. Uh, so it's a great class. It's a great program for you guys to really think about. Our classes count for career exploration. All right, they're great hands-on courses. There are not many tests and quizzes at all. There is no homework. And it you get out what you put into these courses. If you work hard every day and you try your best, you're going to do very well. All right. So I hope you guys have a great break. I hope you guys have a great holiday. I hope to see you in Jan uh, next fall in class. Take care. Have a good one. Bye. Hello, class of 2025. I hope you're excited to enter high school. My name is Mr. Farrell, and I teach TV production here at the high uh, before teaching, I worked at different studios like Fox, New Jersey 101.5, NFL Films, and I'm also one of the assistant football coaches as well. Um, you're able to take TV Production 1 as a freshman, and once you pass TV 1, then you can take TV 2 any year after that. Um, so what do we do in TV Production? You'll learn the basics of operating a camera, as well as learning how to edit on uh, the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite to produce some pretty fun and epic projects. Uh, I'll teach you what it means to create compelling shots with different camera angles and audio effects. Um, and once you get the basics down, I give you a lot of creative freedom. I'll give you a topic, for example, a how-to video. Um, and you decide what you wanna do. Some will do how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Others will do how to make your bed or even how to shoot a soccer ball. Uh, most of the time I run a flipped classroom, which means that you have a lot of class time to work on your projects. And at home, you go over notes and, and do any work that may be needed for class. The only homework you really have is filming and watching videos. Um, I give you a lot of class time to work on your projects, like I said, if, you're not, if we're not doing class notes that day. Um, there's obviously a lot more that I can talk about, but this class is becoming one of the most popular electives. Uh, and I hope you can join me in room 207 for TV production. Signing off, I'm Mr. Farrell. Take care. I'm Mr. Glass. Uh, I, I teach at Parsippany High School, and I teach the Holocaust and Genocide class here at Parsippany High School. I really enjoy teaching this course, and I think the lessons here teach us how to create a better world. I'm very passionate about the topic, and I think with it, we can really make positive change in our world. I have Danielle and Isabella with me, and they're going to talk a little bit about their experience in the class. Danielle. Uh, why were you interested in taking this class? I was interested in taking this class because I've always really liked World War II and I've been like a World War II buff. And I think this gives like a better understanding of the Holocaust and what goes on in the past and what happened during those times. Good. Thanks, Danielle. Isabella, how's the course going so far? The course is going really well so far. I think it's really interesting and we have a lot of good discussions. Oh, great. Uh, what's the coursework like, like, Isabella? What kind of things have you learned about? So far, we basically start from learning the basics and we build our way up about learning about the Nazis in Germany and what they did and what made them do what they did. And it's you have to think about it and it takes some work, but it's pretty easy at the same time. Good. Well, speaking of that, Danielle, what, what are the assignments like? The assignments aren't really too hard. A lot of them are writing and it's good. And they also tie back into today's world and how to make today, like people today better. Good, that's part of, that's a big part of the course. How can we change the future and make it better? Good, Danielle. Um, Isabel, what uh, advice do you have for the future Parsippany uh, Troy Hill students if uh, they choose to take this course? If you choose to take this course, I would just say come in with an open mind and you don't need to know everything about anything to take this class. You really learn a lot and just come in with an open mind and ready to talk about it and discuss and you'll do fine. Great. Thanks, Danielle and, and, and Isabella. It really is an open, like what Isabella said, an open mind and being willing to discuss the things that we talk about really make the course great. So thanks, both of you, and I'll see you in class.
Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Mr. Snyder. I'm an AP Human Geography teacher here at Persephone High School, and I just want to tell you a little bit about the course. Uh, AP Human Geography really takes a look at the interaction between humans and the Earth. It's geography, but it's not just looking at states and capitals and countries and mountains and rivers. That's part of it, because what human geography wants to know is why things happen where they do. Uh, so we take a look at things like population. Why is population increasing in one area and decreasing in another area? You take, we take a look at the, the birth rate and the death rate and, and uh, life expectancy and, and things like that in certain areas of the world. Uh, we take a look at migration. Why are people moving from one place to another? And what is the impact on both of those places? We take a look at culture and language and religion and ethnicity. We take a look at uh, rural societies and agriculture and farming uh, and urban societies and cities. We take a look at industry. So we really get our hands on the, the various aspects that are, are, are happening in our world today, uh, history and current events. We take a look at the statistics. We create maps. We have discussions. We have debates. So if you're interested in those aspects of history and geography and current events and looking at real world problems and solutions, then AP Human Geography would be a great course uh, for you to take. Uh, I would love to discuss this with, with anybody uh, in, in the future, and I hope that you're all well and, and safe. Hi, eighth graders. I'm Mrs. Russell. Hi, guys. My name is Dr. Garcia. I'm Mr. Papa. And we are your business teachers at PHS. We could take some time to tell you about all our classes, but instead, we're going to let our students do the talking. Hi, wonderful 8th graders. Hi, 8th graders. Hi, PHS class of 2025. And I'm guessing you're watching this video because you want to take a business class next year. Yep, <laughs> that's what I thought. All right, listen up, youngins. Make sure you take a business class in PHS, all right? One of the best classes you can possibly take. Teachers are great, you'll learn a lot. You should take a business class freshman year. They're really fun and interactive. In fact, business classes are the best classes you can take while at PHS. Business classes are super important to take even if you don't want to pursue a career in the business field. They teach you how to work as a part of a team and how to be a great leader. There are so many awesome business classes to choose from for your freshman year, including six half-year courses. Our half-year business classes include Personal Finance, Entrepreneurship, Business Computer Applications 1, Business Computer Applications 2, Marketing 1, and Investments. Finance is a graduation requirement, which means that you have to take the class in order to graduate from PHS. You learn how to make and manage your own money. To get the requirement out of the way, you should definitely take personal finance as a freshman. Have you ever dreamed of starting your own business or becoming a boss? Maybe you're obsessed with directing. Well, then the entrepreneurship class is perfect for you. During this class, you get the chance to run and start a real business. Business Applications 1 and 2 will teach you how to navigate Microsoft programs. So slow. Because let's face it, nobody uses Google Apps or Chromebooks in the professional world. You will even have the chance to get a Microsoft Office certification by taking these classes. In the Investments course at Parsippany High School, you'll be able to build your own simulated wealth portfolio and see how fast you can make your money grow. Hey there again. You guys again? I know you guys are bored of watching a bunch of elective videos, but let me tell you something. Marketing and advertisement is a class of one of a kind. You're never gonna have another class like this. This class will not only make you a better salesperson, but it will help you open your eyes to what the world actually is, how people sell things online, how things work in the business world. And let me tell you something, advertisement and marketing is the key to any business. Trust me, you're gonna, you're gonna thank me in the future and watch this video again and be like, that kid was right. If you have completed Algebra 1, there's even an opportunity to take a full year honors course. Honors Accounting 1 at Parsippany High School is a great class with an amazing teacher. Uh, in this course, you'll learn all about the basics of financial accounting, and you'll see if this is a career field or something that you're interested in pursuing in your future. There are even business competition clubs that you could be a part of starting your freshman year. There are two clubs you can join, FBLA and DECA. 
Hope to see you in a business class next year. You should definitely take a business class your freshman year. It's super fun and you get to learn about. These classes make sure that you know what you're talking about. And trust me, who doesn't want to know what they're talking about? I'm really happy I took a business course and I'm sure you will be too if you do. Take my advice and take the business class your freshman year. You won't regret it. <laughs> oh boy. Alright, don't even think about leaving PHS without taking a business class. Also, follow PHS Business on Instagram. What are you doing? Make sure to follow at PHS underscore business on Instagram. Good luck and hope to see you in a business class next year. Bye! Looking forward to seeing you guys next year. See you next year. Hope to see you all next year in a business class. PHS, alright? Really good classes, really great teachers. Teachels? Teachels. Okay, you could cut that out, Ms. Russell. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Oh, it's you guys again. Oh my god, my eye. Okay. Take 30, Ms. Russell. I don't know why I'm messing up so much. IPHS class of 2025. You should take a business class next year. Um. Hello Central 8th graders and welcome to the Performing Arts at PHS. We are looking forward to having you be a part of our department next year. Why study music? Well, music is a great way to incorporate so many of the subjects you learn about already because music is art, it's math, phys ed, science, history, and world language. Wow, how exciting! One of our performing ensembles is Concert Band, or Honors Concert Band, for those of you who are interested in continuing your studies in band. We learn and perform a wide variety of music all year round, and we get to showcase that at the four concerts we put on every year. In both band and choir, you can obtain honors credit by participating in extra musical activities outside of school. In addition to our concerts, we even go on trips with the choir, and some have included going to Disney, Boston, and we even attend a Broadway musical. Like band, choir is also a performing arts class for those of you who are interested in continuing your studies in singing. Choir satisfies a graduation requirement and counts as a life skills or visual and performing arts class. Singing is a great way to relax and to express yourself. You make new friends, grow and improve together. Thanks for watching and we look forward to seeing all of you next year. The Persephone High School English teachers are really excited to welcome in our new Red Hawks. We have five different English electives that you can choose from and you can take these at any point during your four years here with us. The first is creative writing. This class runs for a full year um, and it, it's something that our previous creative writing students have described as an outlet to escape, uh, providing stress relief, freedom. It really allows you to explore in a workshop environment. It's a lot of fun. Public speaking is a half year course and this one offers lifelong benefits and transferable skills. If you are excited about a future where you'll have to talk to people like something in business, public speaking is an excellent elective for you to take so that you have those soft skills developed. Journalism, uh, if you take journalism, then you will get published in the Drumbeat, which is our school's newspaper. And it does prepare you if you want to go to college to be a, a journalist, but you will also just learn how to be a better writer. So you will learn the art of being succinct, and you will also learn how to discern bias from truth so that, that no one takes advantage of you. So this is great, not only if you wanna be in the news and news reporting, but also if you wanna understand the news better. Our next option is film and literature. This class teaches you to learn the language of film so that you can read movies. We watch all kinds of films from classics to modern films and we, we learn the meaning behind them. Finally, we have superheroes and modern mythology. 
In this class, we look at hero and villain archetypes of ancient mythology and of our modern superheroes. So we study things that come from a long time ago, from previous time periods, but then we always tie it back to our comics of today. So if you have any questions about our English electives, please feel free to email me. My name is Mrs. Sanchez. You can find me at jsanchez at pthsd.net. And welcome again to Persephone High School. When, when it comes to art electives, eighth graders have a diverse choice to choose from. Drawing one is a basic introduction art class that meets for a full year. And here's some examples of some student work from drawing one. Multi-art is another introduction art class, except it meets for an entire school year. Also in multi-art, students will receive instruction in various medias, for example, color pencils, watercolors, acrylic, and printmaking, to name just a few. Ceramics is another basic introduction art class that meets for half a year. Digital art students will learn how to use Adobe software, for example, Photoshop and Illustrator, just to name a few. Digital photography students will learn the basics of how to use manual settings in a camera, composition, photo editing software, for example, Photoshop, and Lightroom, just to name a few. Painting is a more advanced class. Students have had prior art classes. Students will learn advanced techniques and how to paint in watercolors, acrylics, and oil paint. Our portfolio is for advanced art students who are looking to further their artistic talents. Students will have taken previous art classes. AP Studio Art is another art class for advanced art students who want to receive college credit for art by passing the AP exam. Heavy emphasis will be placed on students developing an art portfolio, which will be submitted for review by the AP board. And that is just a sampling of some of the art classes that fre freshmen um, and high school students can take during their high school career. Welcome to our Family Consumer Science Program. We know that you will love our classes. They are fun, interactive, and delicious, and can prepare you for a future in culinary arts, teaching, health and nutrition, and working with children and young adults. We offer one full year and three half-year courses. Enjoy learning about our classes, and see you next year. If you love working with children and want to learn how they develop and learn, then this half year course is for you. Your class time will be spent working on really fun projects as you develop an understanding of how a child from birth to age 11 grows. Maybe you see teaching in your future? Take early childhood human development to get a jump start on learning how little ones grow and learn. If you've ever considered working with young adults one day in the fields of psychology or teaching, then this half-year course, Adolescent Development, is the class for you. This class will provide you the knowledge on the growth and development of young adults ages 12 to 18. You will examine real-world issues experienced by teens emotionally and physically and understand their social-emotional growth and wellness. Ever wonder if you're eating a nutritious diet or eating enough for your physical activity needs? This half-year course teaches you how to eat healthy and eat enough. You will participate in cooking labs and experiments designed to teach you about food and nutrients, and you'll find out how much you need to eat to stay active and healthy. Cooking labs are fun, healthy, and delicious. If you feel like you go through your school days hungry all the time, food preparation and nutrition, this full year class is the class for you. You will learn how to make everything from lasagna to lava cakes and eat just about every day. 
You will participate in fun competitions like Cupcake Wars and Chopped. And even if you have a food allergy or a dietary restriction, it's okay because all of our recipes can be modified for you. If you want to learn how to cook and you love eating, take food preparation and nutrition. Now, hello, it's Dr. Maroney again, uh, Principal of Percipient High School. Just want to talk to you a little bit about the freshman seminar elective that we're offering for freshmen this year. It's the first time we're running it. Um, we hope it's a way to help kids transition to high school a little more smoothly. As you know, this can be a challenge for uh, 14 to 15 year olds as they, move, as they move from middle school to the high school level. Um, and this course is designed to help them succeed in, on multiple levels. Um, you'll be exposed to uh, upperclassmen, advisors, administrators, counselors, uh, coaches, um, to talk about the policies and procedures in the building, resources for students, and the different programs that we have, both academic and extracurricular, including sports clubs and service opportunities. Uh, we'll be working on uh, computer skills and different platforms that kids will be seeing in the classroom um, so that they can transition to, to what's going on with their teachers in a more uh, expedient and efficient manner. And we're going to be working on academic skills, uh, including organization, note-taking, studying, um, and simple communication, how to reach out to teachers and counselors and ask for help and get assistance. And we finally work on the social uh, transition to high school, talking about peer pressure, relationships, um, social media, all that fun stuff that uh, can make things sticky and uh, confusing at times. So um, we uh, think this is a great course and we're excited for the opportunity to offer it. So if it's something you're looking forward to in the fall um, of your freshman year, that first semester, freshman seminar could be the class for you. Thanks for listening. Welcome to Parsippany Troy Hill School District Science Electives. The following three electives that are um, that I will be discussing are ones that are available to all incoming freshmen. First up, are you interested in sci-fi movies and literature? Well, myth busting, analyzing the science and literature and film might be the course for you. In this course, you will be given the opportunity to explore and analyze science behind some of our pop culture's famous sci-fi films and literature. Some of the books and movies you will dive into may include, but not limited to, Frankenstein, Star, War, Star Wars, Beowulf, and Jurassic Park. Next up, are you someone interested in space, astronomy, and the solar system? Well, astronomy might be the course for you. Uh, some of the units that you will dive into will include a general overview on astronomy, the solar system, Earth-Moon system, nature of space, time, and light. Finally, last but not least, are you someone interested in pursuing a career in dietitian, food and nutrition specialist, or maybe nutraceuticals or public health? Then this course might be the one for you. In this semester course, you will dive into energy balance and diet, diet digestion and absorption, macro versus micronutrients, dietary choices, and human health. Best of luck, and we hope to see you in one of our wonderful science electives. Just remember that all three of our science electives are semester courses and are all lab sciences. Thank you. This course is an excellent introduction to programming or an opportunity to learn yet another programming language. We begin by exploring Python using a visual, visual representation involving Tracy the Turtle, where we can create graphical representations of our code. And then we progress into using Python 3 to create more complex programs using conditional statements and while loops, for loops, dictionaries, lists, tuples, and more advanced programming methods. It's a great opportunity to code at all levels. Computer programming in C++ is a rigorous introduction to computer programming. To take this course, you should have a strong math background or you could take computer science with Python first. In this course, students learn about important programming structures such as if statements, loops, arrays, and much more. Here's an example of a program that one of my students wrote recently. This program uses a for loop to list all the factors of a number. In the final marking period of the course, we do a little bit of app development. And here we have some screenshots of some of the apps that my students have done in the past. Introduction to Networks course is offered in conjunction with Cisco Networking Academy to start you on the path to a Cisco CCNA version 7 certification. That certification would be offered at the end of all three courses, this networks course, and then routing and switching, and then cybersecurity. It's an excellent platform for the IT professional or even just someone interested in getting an understanding of networks around you. 
we program routers and switches and configure them and interconnect network devices. This is a software called Packet Tracer that we use throughout the course to interface with these different devices. Welcome to AP Computer Science A. Come join us in this advanced placement programming course using Java. Students will use an object-oriented environment to develop algorithms to solve many problems. Time will be spent preparing to take the AP exam so you can earn college credit. Come and join us. Welcome to Robotics class. This is an exciting and interactive course that teaches you all about the engineering process. You will build, drive, and program a robot. During this time, you will robot. be given challenges that you will need to meet where you can use the knowledge you have acquired of the design process and working with a robot. You will also compete in the swept away game you see here and a game of robotic soccer. Come join us and stretch your mind. Welcome to AP Computer Science Principles. In this course, you will learn how to create event-driven apps like the one you see here using App Inventor. You will also learn about many topics in computer science like cybersecurity and AI. This is a great overall computer science course. At the end, you will have the opportunity to take the AP exam where you can earn college credit. Come and join us.